<clears throat> so the other day I was on Facebook and I asked people to share pictures of their studios because um, I'm doing these, these new series about artists and I want to learn more about other artists and talk about other artists that I really appreciate and love. And I met online. We have the largest gallery in the world, in the history of the world right now. We have access to more artists than we ever have before. And I kind of want to take advantage of it and share people, share people whose work I love and, whose pe who, uh, and people I respect. Who, who work so hard at their art every day. Um, sometimes it's articulate, sometimes it's not. It's a shot in the dark with me, but we do our best. Anyway, I asked people to show pictures of their studio, and people started sending me pictures or posting them on my Facebook page, and some of the, some of the uh, comments were almost apologetic for where they're working. And, and, and it hit me, you know, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. I'm an artist and I'm producing work and I'm selling work and I do this full time, but you know, this is, this is what I've got. And so people are apologizing for painting in rooms like I've had. And I worked out of, a, out of an attic that at one point was infested with at, rat, uh, bats, bats, sorry. I've worked out of tiny bedrooms. I've worked out of teeny weeny little apartments. I've also worked in really big, beautiful mill spaces with no heat and no AC and no bathroom, but I've worked in all different kinds of spaces. And currently I'm working in my garage. And right now you can hear the washing machine going, I'm sure. But I thought, since I'm asking people to expose something that, that is uh, deeply personal and makes may make them feel vulnerable, I thought I'd show you around my place. So you know, there's like, no reason for anyone to be embarrassed about where they work because we can't all have, you know, a beautiful space in New York. We can't all have it. The point is to produce work. It's the point is to produce work. And if that's what you're doing is developing and growing and, and, and changing, that's what an artist is supposed to do. It doesn't matter if you have magnetic paint on the walls that hold up your painting on display for the clients, which I've seen. It doesn't matter that, you know, you have the best oriental rug in the middle of your room, which I know people have. I know people who have that. I know people who have solid oak storage units and, you know, handmade easels and all the fancy pantsy stuff that I, I don't have. And I really don't care about having. There's, I mean, I know people that have, that do what I do. You know, balance things on boxes, nail it to a wall, just whatever, get it to work. So I thought I'd show you around my, my place. And you don't have to excuse me, I haven't cleaned up the garage slash studio in a while because I've been doing a lot of online slash promotion stuff and it's taken, you know, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. Uh, so that's not clean. Neither are my palettes, but yeah, why do I care? I'm still producing work regardless. Okay, let's let's go take whoop, ready? Let's go take a look see. Um, this is this is my big command center. Um, that's my big command center. It's off the kitchen, as you can see. So nothing fancy going on there. All right, let's go in here. This is where I store my paintings now. I did have, I did have a climate controlled storage unit and it was costing me hundreds of dollars a month. And so my roommates, my housemate said to me, let's bring it home and we'll just keep the AC running and the fans running, which that one's not running right now, but everything is climate controlled. It's kept clean. Um, so I'm pretty happy and I'm saving money. So here's, there's Bugsy, Bugsy, look at, there's Bugsy. But this, is, this was supposed to be our second bedroom, and um, I'm using it as painting storage. And there's literally dozens and dozens and dozens of paintings in here. Um, they're all sitting on tissue paper, so I make sure that, um, okay, there we go. They're all sitting on tissue paper, so I make sure paint doesn't get on the floor, and uh, they, they stay reasonably clean. They all get cleaned before they get sent out anyway. Now, 
We're going to go out to my big studio, which I so said is off the laundry room. Look, there's my bedding and some of my shirts. This is as fancy as you can get with me. And we're out in the garage, which, as I said, is my painting studio. This is primarily where I paint. Boy, it's registering. It's really bright in here. It's, it's not that bright in here. It's really not. But that's, that's primarily where I paint. Um, I have my little chairs that I move things up and down on. I have boxes so I can move things around and look at them in different directions. I don't know why I have that table because all I do is put junk on it. There's my chair where I sit and stare at things, including my phone. And sometimes I sleep there, which is very comfortable and warm because it's a garage. That's my primary light source. I open the garage door. It opens at various levels so I can see what I'm doing. Um, there's my really expensive standing lamp from Goodwill. My other fancy lamp from I think the dollar store. This is my camera holder slash tripod. Yep, that's it. I got that used for about 10 bucks I think. Oh, I'm going to put, putting the iPad up there now, as you can see, I've got, we've got luggage and pet, pet carriers up there and all kinds of things. But so now you've got a better view, you've got a better idea of what, how I work. Oh God, now it's all dark. Okay, it doesn't want to adjust, but there we are. So, and I work off of an iPad, uh, <laughs> which you're experiencing, you know, you experience with me every day. This is what we do. This is, let me see if I can get some light in here, because I can't even see me. Nope, not happening. This is what we do. <laughs> this is just how we work. It's more important that we're working, that we're producing work, that, that, we're, that we're evolving than the walls than the space that we have, than the lamps that we have. That's how I feel. I would love to have a gorgeous space. I would love to be working in some place that has air conditioning and isn't 900 degrees with 100% humidity. It's not happening. It's not happening. At least in this space, I have access to a bathroom. <laughs> so when I ask people, where, where do you work? This is, this is where I'm coming from is my big fancy art office off the kitchen, my big fancy uh, studio off the laundry room. This is where I'm coming from. So please don't ever apologize for where you work. The point is to just keep working. Keep working, keep your soul growing, keep digging for other layers. It matters more up here than what's out here. Here, here. This is the shit that matters. <laughs> the lamps. Look at that thing. It's so sad. Anyway, ciao.